Welcome. You're watching Spirit of Life. My name's Norm Curry, and in this episode, we're featuring material that I recorded 18 months ago for an online project titled Love Dialogues. This interview is with Father Tien Nguyen, a Divine Word missionary. Father, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me, Norm. Now, love. Well, let's talk about love today. Uh, and let's talk about the experience of love, yeah. your experience of love. You've been a, a, a priest for many years yeah. uh, and a person, an individual. Are there some experiences of love, extraordinary love, which you might be able to be prepared to tell the story about? Yeah. Thank you for this very interesting question. Um, love is what we live every moment, every day but it is rarely talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, as you ask me about my experiences, I have quite a few uh, outstanding experiences. Mm -hmm. Whenever I think about love, I think of my mother. Because through my mother, I learn about love. She's a simple peasant person, mm -hmm. but we got a big family of 14. Mm -hmm. And she has to care for everyone and all of us. And our life uh, through uh, the history of the family was sometimes difficult, very difficult. Sometimes we live re really in pure poverty. Mm -hmm. But for her to find a way to sustain life for the family and for everyone there is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. I remember sometimes we have only one or two eggs mm -hmm. and she had to be creative enough <laughs> to f make something out of these two eggs to fit the whole family. <laughs> yes. So from her love, she became creative. Mm -hmm. And in order to provide food, and this food sustains life. Mm -hmm. So she's always loving. Mm -hmm. I'd never... Uh, think of her not loving. Mm. Um, everyone in the family and in the village knows that she's a loving person, mm -hmm. unconditional love. Mm -hmm. uh, even now, as a priest, whenever I go home, she still shows me that love mm -hmm. by caring yeah. from the very small thing. Um, like if I go out, she always hand me a a cap, mm. give this one, otherwise you get sick. Mm -hmm. Or even when I go to the church, she mm, gives me some advice, don't talk things to offend people. Mm. Uh, so she's still caring until today. Mm. Uh, as a priest, I'm still loving, uh, living in that loving care yeah. of her. Yeah. She's the first experience that I learn about love. Mm -hmm. And the second experience I have is of Emily. Mm -hmm. whom I, who I met at uh, Sufven, you know, when we went out to do social work to serve the, the, the needy. And after a while, I, I got sick and I couldn't go to the Sufven. And one day she came to our community in Sydney and she asked me why, what happened? And I told her about my sickness. I was at a very critical point of my life. And, uh, you know, I, I got into this crisis of faith. I, I couldn't believe God. I couldn't believe in life because I was facing death. And uh, she showed compassion to me. After the conversation, she just left quietly. And I think about two weeks later, she came back with a stack of uh, papers. She, she handed it to me and said, Tian, go to your specialist, check it out. If you are compatible with my system, I would do donate you half of my liver and one of my kidneys oh, so for you to live on. Yeah. It's <laughs> unconditional love, the Certainly love that sustained my life. Certainly is. 
Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. So what, it seems to me that one of the keys to that is that your mother recognised your needs and Emily recognised your needs and part of it is your capacity to express your needs. Is that how love works in your experience? You are right. I think, uh, first of all, uh, I, I must be open yeah. uh, and show them that what I need. Mm. And they respond to, to that need. Mm -hmm. uh, so my mother, that's the nature of love. Uh, yeah. She's she always caring. But if she always thinks of what I need. Yes. Uh, you know, I, I sometimes I have to express to her what is happening with me. Yeah. The yeah. same with Emily. Yeah. I tell her what happened to my uh, my sickness. Yes. Uh, mm. So if they know what I need, and they responded to them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And if they didn't know, so this really goes to the point of really expressing your need. Yep. but also recognising the need in the other so that you uh -huh. can meet their need. So yes. it's a cycle, isn't it? Exactly. exactly. It's a cycle, you know, expressing my needs and receiving their help. Yes. Willing to receive. Yeah. And that is another side. Eh? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard to receive help. Yeah. But we, we, we need to be open enough to express what is going on with, with ourselves and also willing to receive the, the help that people are offering. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So it's well, mutual. Right? It's mutual, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it sort of leads over into a subject that we might later discuss in another session of actually gratitude as well as being part of exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So for anyone who was, is, is watching, what, what would you say would be the, the key to connecting with this love? How, how does that work? How do you connect with that love for yourself and for other? Yeah, love is always there, but mm -hmm. sometimes it is difficult to express. Mm. So we, first of all, for me, I need to be open. Mm. I need to share what is happening with me yeah. on my life journey with people, uh, informing them what is going on with me. And when they offer something, I'm willing to receive it. So for me, opening yeah. of ourselves yeah. is the first place yes yeah. and also willing to embrace others yeah. with the help yeah that is the other mm. side yeah mm. yes it's about compassion and connectedness and openness yeah. love doesn't happen in a box no no it has no. to be open that's yeah. true we have to be open and willing willingness uh, you've got to mm. a willingness there yeah. you know to, to express it and to receive it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Father. Welcome back to Spirit of Life. We continue with Father Tien Nguyen, hope. Last week we spoke about love. Yes. And the issue is experiential. What is your experience as a priest, a long-term priest, and as an individual? What sort of features of hope have you seen in your life which you might care to share? Yes, hope is a driving force that uh, helps us, enables us to go on with our life. And for me, hope is like a soul that sustains my life. Um, as you ask me to share of my experiences, um, I think uh, when I was little, um, I think about over five years old, I was uh, tasked to take care of our cattle for the family. And that was my life on the field, on the farm. But my father always advised me not to give up hope. Mm -hmm. Every time we talk, he said, Tian, don't ever give up hope. Tomorrow will be better. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So most of my 
friends from mm -hmm. our village didn't go to school. Right? But my father said, Tian, you got to go to school. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened with politics, yeah. I didn't know about politics, but whatever happened yeah. with people, you just go to school. Yeah. I did. And from that experience for, of my father, who always encourages me not to give up hope. Mm. So I try hard, very hard, mm. to go through all uh, school at the local level. Yeah. And then I moved to high school and then university. And then I was sent to Australia to do further studies. So that gives me strength mm -hmm. to be able to complete what I wanted, what yeah. I dream of. Yeah. yeah. So I just finished my thesis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I reflect back, I said, no, this is not my work. Mm -hmm. This is the work of many people uh, who yeah. put their uh, effort together, and especially my father, mm -hmm. from his message. Don't ever give hope. Yeah, yeah. So during my uh, my research, I faced with many problems, yeah. with many hardship, yeah. and I wanted to give up. Yeah. But here, even here, my lecturer, my supervisor, my friends, yeah. uh, my priest friends, they all encouraged me. Tian, don't give up. Yeah. Try to do, finish it. So I did. Yeah, so this hope mm -hmm. brings me to what and who I am today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think last week we spoke about love not being in a box. Mm -hmm. Hope is a bit the same, isn't it? It is the same. Yeah. The same. I think it is both sides of the, the same coin. Uh, yeah. Love sustains your life. Hope sustains your dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and the the hope is actually rooted in part with expressing yourself and your needs to others who who will buoy you up to elevate you to support you. Exactly, because you know life is difficult, mm -hmm. and without encouragement, yeah, without support, mm -hmm. I don't think I can, you know, carry out my tasks and my life well. Mm -hmm. But whenever I have problems like you are part of it, mm. you know. The last stage of my thesis, I said it was too difficult for me. Mm. And you also said, okay, if you need some help, I am here mm -hmm. to read your, your, your writing. So, yeah, you read part of my thesis mm -hmm. and others also did the same. Yeah. So when, when I expressed the hardship that I was facing, people offered me encouragement yeah. and offered me help. Mm -hmm. So... Through that encouragement, yeah. I could do what I uh, dreamed to do. Mm. So there would be people uh, that would be watching who might well respond to a, a description as to how you feel uh, that they can access hope and maintain hope and support hope mm. for others. Yeah, to access hope, yeah. you need to let people know. Mm what your dream is, yeah. the hardship you are enduring. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when people know, okay, that's what you want to do, and that's what you are facing, all the difficulties, the hardship, and they are there, yeah. offering their help, yeah. assistance. Yeah. So you are not alone. Mm -hmm. When you are alone, you are facing difficulties. Yeah. But when you are with people, the difficulties will be lessened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and expressing and recognizing, expressing your need, and recognizing when you receive an answer to your need builds up the hope within you. Exactly, that yeah. gives me strength again. Yeah. yeah, to do what I I, I am aim to do, I set mm. out to do. Yeah, mm. so it's always mutual. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and I'm not I'm not. Uh, fearing that I get people's help. Mm. And I acknowledge that, you know, mm. this achievement of mine today is a contribution of many mm. people. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Father. It, 
it just going back to our previous interview and this, we're, it really, really is the fact that we are not inside a box. We need to take the lid off the box and allow ourselves to flow out, to be love, to be hope. Yeah, that's that's it. You yeah. know, before and you know, before we like I I was taught before I pray to get God's help, I have to get the help around me. Yeah, first. Yeah. First. Yeah. So to be open mm. and to be willing to accept uh, assistance, mm. and life will be easier. Mm. Yeah. Thanks very much, Father. Welcome back to Spirit of Life. We continue with Father Tien Nguyen. Thanks very much for coming in. And we've got an interesting question now, which we'll, we've, we've, we've discussed love, we've discussed hope, but a, a really important component of all of that is actually gratitude, being grateful. In your time as a priest and as an individual, have you got some experiences, some experiential situations where gratitude that you've observed has been extraordinary? Yes, gratitude is a virtue. Mm -hmm. For me, that is the first virtue mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. From the time I wake up to the time that I go to bed, it is a time of my expressions of gratitude. Yeah. Because first of all, I'm grateful to God mm. for, the, for the gift of life and the gift of everything that I am enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. And that is my first attitude. Mm. And gratitude for me is an attitude of giving thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm always giving thanks to God for that. Yeah. And second, gratitude, grat grateful to my parents, my friends, and everyone I meet in my life. Because I am sharing my life with others, and they are offering their life to me. Mm -hmm. So gratitude for me, in Buddhist terms, is a kind of interdependence. Yeah. We are, we inter are, like Thich Nhat Hanh said there, yeah. we inter are. Yes. So we are together. Mm -hmm. And we are sharing life, and we are sharing whatever we have, and I am grateful. Mm -hmm. I am grateful to that. So for me, my life is a life of showing gratitude. Yeah. 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 Every day I have morning prayers, and the Holy Eucharist, and evening prayer, all about giving thanks. Yes. Giving thanks yeah. to God, for giving thanks to life, to whomever I, I meet during the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's my life. Yeah. My showing gratitude. Yeah. Well, as you said, there it's an attitude of gratitude which, yeah. which actually never leaves you. No. And it's, it actually, that would be a supportive of, a, of, an, of a, an attitude. There we go again. An attitude of, of joy. You, you, you're exactly. joyful about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, joyful and normally is expressed in different forms. Yes. Uh, mm. Like a Vietnamese, mm. we show our gratitude not very often by verbal, mm. but by action. Yeah. Like I'm grateful to you for certain things, yeah. and one day I may uh, cook a dinner, a nice dinner, invite you to come and share dinner with, with us, with our yeah. community. Yeah. And that's a way of showing gratitude. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So showing gratitude by offering gifts, by offering meals, or by doing certain things. Yeah. And it's, it's got different formats, form mm. uh, of, mm. uh, of showing it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, living in this multicultural environment, yeah. we misunderstand. Like uh, <laughs> one time, yes. one priest told me, you Vietnamese are about eating. <laughs> I said, no, 
eating is not about eating. Eating mm. is about sharing and showing gratitude. Yeah. Uh, and he missed the point. Uh, yes. Because yes. we invited him so often. Mm. He, he's, he's teaching us English. Mm. And we invite, invited him to share dinner. Yes. And too often that he said, you are always eating. Oh, no, it's not, a, it's not about eating. It's about showing gratitude. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a very good example. But gratitude is, is a double edge, it has a double edge, doesn't it? In the sense that if you give yourself and you give, the expectation of gratitude is actually, if you love unconditionally, there is no expectation of gratitude. No. You simply give for yeah. the sake of giving. Exactly. Yeah, just from the heart. The heart, yeah. yes. And yes. it is a statement. Gratitude is about a statement uh, telling me, reminding me and telling people that my life doesn't belong to me. Yeah, yeah. It's given. It's a gift given by mm -hmm. God to me mm -hmm. to be shared. Yeah. So I don't claim ownership of who, what I am and what I have. Mm -hmm. Everything is a gift. Yeah, yeah. So it's a big statement. It is and then mistake. we are free. Mm. We don't expect people, no, you know, to to give us. No, but we are just showing, our, sharing our life, yeah, and showing our gratitude for yeah. whatever we receive. Yeah. Once again, it seems to be a theme developing in in our discourse about uh, you're not going to be able to either receive in order to express gratitude, but you're not going to be able to express it either. If you live in a box, you have to open the box exactly. to let your love yeah. and let your hope and let flow. your gratitude flow. So yeah. it's, it's about flow. Yeah, it's about flow. It's an attitude of life, toward mm. life. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't you know, have to, to, to receive in order to express our gratitude. No, no. It's, it, it's flowing there. And it is an ongoing process, isn't it? Because we're both sitting here now and we're both breathing. Uh -huh. For each breath, yeah, is there, there's an expression of gratitude. Exactly. Yes, if yes. we hold our breath for a, a few seconds, we mm. find it hard. Mm. So mm. we are grateful mm. to God for giving us this wonderful for, for our next live. breath. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Father. You've been watching Spirit of Life. Join us again next week. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.